Hi, let's talk about how you can easily make a 750 watts inverter with the TL494 passive modulation IC and a H bridge made of power MOSFETs. The circuit looks as shown here. So for the power supply, you will need a 12 volts battery at the input as well as a filter capacitor written as shown for 1700 microfarads. So the TL494 PWM IC is configured as shown, pin 12 to VCC, pin 7 to ground. The two air amplifiers, they are disassembled by connecting the non-inverting terminals to ground and pulling up the inverting terminals to 5 volts generated by the reference pin 14. Connect pin 13 to pin 2 as shown to stabilize the air amplifiers. So for the frequency, you determine the frequency by the values of the timing capacitor C2 and timing resistor R1. The formula is as shown here. Just use R1 as 10 kilo ohms and C2 as 47 nanofarads. So for the, the TL494 has two driver transistors. The open correctors are pulled up to 12 volts via 220 ohms towards resistors, where the open emitters are grounded. So the two BJTs are connected to operate in the push mo pull mode by the output control pin 13, which is pulled up to 5 volts. So they are high and low in complementaries. So when pin 8 is high and pin 11 is low, Q3 and Q2 will conduct and so current will flow from the 12 volts rail through Q3 through the winding of the transformer through Q2 and to ground. This makes the first half cycle. When Q8 is low and Q11 is high, Q1 and Q4 will conduct and current will flow from the positive rail through Q4 through the winding of the transformer and through the Q1 to ground. So th that's the second half cycle. So it's a full bridge in water circuit which can handle 750 watts easily since the power transistors can handle the amount of current required which is roughly about 75 amperes. So Q3 and Q4 they are P-channel MOSFETs. Ensure they are written at least 75 amperes. Q1 and Q2 are N-channel MOSFETs written also as that they are I RF3205 which are written at 100 amperes. This is the oscilloscope shot. So channel A is primary first input, channel B is the primary second input and channel C the red one is the output of the second and you can see the output is a NACI signal, a modified square wave which can be easily applied to power many devices such as your laptop, your smartphone, your television, among other gadgets which are not sensitive to square wave or modified square wave alternating current. So that's all for this tutorial, please like this video, comment, share and subscribe to my channel of Make It for more amazing tutorials and projects. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice day.